All right, y'all, in this episode right here, we're gonna take a ride down to Pensacola to try out D Pascal's, located in the Meadowbrook Plaza. They're known for just great sandwiches. This one right here is called the Kitchen Sink. They got everything in it but the kitchen sink. Stay tuned. y'all thank you again for joining me on another episode of JL Jupiter TV today um, I was in the mood for sandwiches so I've been googling uh, and found a spot all right it's called D Pascal's and I believe it's in Pensacola right off of uh, Union Avenue it's like Union and Park but it's a plaza there called Meadowbrook Plaza and I went ahead and checked it out so this is what I got I was mainly interested in the uh, the kitchen sink hoagie which is 949 and I got a turkey club for my mom, she was hungry. And I got a cheesesteak for my, my, my dad, because he was hungry too. I heard their cheesesteak is fire as well. At the same time, <clears throat> I'm talking to, uh, I believe, Arthur. Shout out to Arthur, the manager over there at DePascal's. Place is very hospitable. They talk to you. It's like a, uh, com you know, like a little mini, uh, mini mart. They got everything in there, you know what I mean? Kind of reminds me of just going into South Philly, picking up sandwiches here and there. They got uh, fresh cuts of uh, steak there. Pretty much whatever you want, they have it there. So let's go ahead and reveal this. Oh, so as I was waiting there, he was like, yo, I'm, I'm gonna give you something on the house here. It's called the Manga Grande. That, that looks really fire as well. We got chicken cutlets on there and some mad fresh ingredients. So let's go and do the reveal. So what I'm gonna try first is called the kitchen sink. And this looks absolutely crazy. It is, the bread is a sarcone bread, seeded sarcone bread. I don't know if y'all can see that. That looks fire. Look at the look at the quality in the bread in that. Oh my goodness. Wow. So the bread, they gutted out. I don't know if y'all can see that. The bread has been gutted. They got the fresh moots in here, you know, got the peppers in here, got the broccoli rob. I'm really impressed with the turkey. Look at this. The turkey is mad fresh, so. Woo. Fire. Let me see if I can rip it in half. I'm definitely not finishing all this. Let's see if I can fit it. Mm. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now that's a fresh sandwich. You can smell the bread still. Can y'all see this? All right, so uh, let's go ahead and try this sandwich out. Again, this is called the kitchen sink. I'm gonna bite right here. Just got the mozzarella and everything in there. Let's try it out. Mm. Mm. Oh, if you guys are wondering, where's my wife? She couldn't be in this video, but I am gonna save her some. She's currently working on her dissertation paper. If you guys are know anything about that, that requires a lot of reading. So she was like, go ahead, babe, go and do your thing. Um, so that's why she's not in the video. Um, also, shout out to my boy, Miz. He's still doing quality content. Make sure you follow his page. He's the one that actually told me about this place. This is fire. Mm. The bread is the star. Taste the quality and the, and the cuts of the turkey. I think it's prosciutto. Oh, you taste that cheese though, that sharp. I believe that's sharp provolone. Mm. 
well done. Got the broccoli robin here too. This is a great, great, excellent sandwich. I don't know who in their right mind could actually finish a half, let alone a full. A full one is like this. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat what I can out of this one. Shout out to the bread though, look at that. Quality. Those guys are so cool in there. Again, shout out to Arthur. As I'm waiting for my sandwich to be made, he's like, yo, you want a rib? I'm like, I can't say no to a rib. I was like, yeah, we just got it. <clears throat> we um, we just got it, and uh, I, think you, I think you should try it out. So you actually cut off a piece of rib. Let me try it. I think it was banging, too. Sandwich A1, definitely recommend it, man. Well, let's go on to the next sandwich here. This is called... The Manga Grande. I'm excited about this more. <clears throat> just because it got chicken cutlets in here. Oh, Lord. Uh, look at the quality. Oh, my. Mm. Look at it. Even that freaking cheese is like talking to my soul right now. Can you see this? Mm. I'm gonna break that apart, see that? Can you hear the ASMR? Oh, the C's, my bad, C's rubbing off. Look at that, beautiful sandwich. <clears throat> Look at this. Can I show you guys the cutlet? Can I show you that? Beautiful. This is the other side. Got the roasted peppers, broccoli rob. Let's go in for the kill. This is a winner too. They add that broccoli rob on there. Mm. That is so fire. I'm so mad for actually finally trying this. You know what's funny too? I used to live not too far from that place. For like, I lived there for maybe like five or six years. I always drove past it. Better late than never. D Pascals, you guys, <clears throat> I'm, I'm gonna give you guys a go. You know what I mean? You guys, you guys are doing things right, sandwiches wise. This is a sandwich I could finish. I could finish a half of a half of this. That kitchen sink, I couldn't finish that. That's great quality sandwich right there. I gotta stop. Mm. Oh! Oh, they got ricotta in here too. Is that ricotta? What is that? Mmm. I think that's the reason why I kept... I think that's the reason why I just wanted to keep eating this. Alright, so I went back in the house to try to, uh, I cut off a piece of the cheese steak. I don't know if you can see that. I just wanna try this out, let's try the steak. There you go, oh, the bread. I'm in love already. I can feel that bread love. Is that a word? Is that a phrase, bread love? That's bread love right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bite into it. That's everything I thought it would be. 
Oh my god, that bread. Steak, good quality. Y'all gotta try the cheese steak too. Excellent cheese steak. Even though it's in New Jersey, this tastes like it could be right in Philly. Excellent sandwich. This spot is an excellent place to get sandwiches. Go on. <clears throat> Yo. So, thank you guys for joining me. I'm going to end this video off right now. If you guys are in the Pensacola area, it's like bordering Camden. Give them a shot. It's a great um, family-operated spot, but they got great sandwiches. Quality. Try the kitchen sink. That could probably feed... The half can probably feed three people. The Manga Grande, excellent chicken cutlet sandwich. But if you want a cheesesteak, I'm telling you, this is, this is probably low-key one of the best in the area. So, I'm going to end up with that. I'm going to go check on my wife, bring her some food too. See how she's doing with her dissertation. And I'll see you on the next episode, alright? Peace.